recently a friend of mine donated to my collection a uh, CW practice course from 1959 called The Writer's Sound and Sight Code Course by Lewis Robbins and Reed Harris. Pretty neat picture here. You can see a guy um, with a straight key hooked up to a uh, practice oscillator and a record player ne nearby. And uh, interesting thing about this I noticed he's actually writing down dits and daws and then it looks like there's some cassette tapes. Oh no, those are uh, actually flashcards. I'm sorry. <laughs> those are flashcards of the code. Uh, both of these things I would strongly uh, discourage. Of course, back then, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't known, I guess, or it wasn't widely known, the kind of damage that you could get uh, to your CW copy from actually using a printed chart. Uh, depicting dots and dashes, it's, you know, as we know now, it's best to just memorize um, the sounds orally and then just go straight from hearing the sound with the ears to picturing a letter of the alphabet or punctuation or prosign, whatever the case may be. Kind of explains uh, some of the anecdotes I've heard about people who. Uh, developed bad habits from these poor techniques and then took 30 or more years of practice copying to uh, get over them. But I'll go ahead and get to uh, the fun part. Uh, I've got the uh, one of the records here on my uh, Fisher-Price thrift store record player. I'll go ahead and turn it on 33. This is lesson five learning to identify the sounds. During lesson five, after each signal is sent, record both the sound you hear and also identify its corresponding letter, number, or punctuation mark. Three seconds after the signal is sent, there will be an announcement of the correct sound and character. If your response disagrees with the announcement, circle your answer. This run includes all letters, numbers, and punctuation marks. Ready? Here's the first signal. Dita da. Whiskey. Da 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 da. Quebec. Da uniform. Dit echo. Dit da da da. Okay, I wanted to try one of the other records. Notice that 
That one had quite a bit of scratches, at least at the beginning. Put this over here for now. See what's on side one. These records were produced in cooperation with the Communications Division of the New York Institute of Technology. This is lesson one learning to hear the sounds of the letters. Be sure to have pencil and paper handy. You'll hear a code signal, for instance. Record the sound you hear on your papers. For instance, if you hear a da, draw a dash line. And okay. if you hear a dit, <laughs> draw a dot. Very interesting. And now we know this explains a whole lot of what I've heard about in some books and from people I've talked to on the air and also off the air too, but it might uh, explain uh, quite a bit. But yeah, this is... Uh, a very nice uh, piece for my collection and uh, of course I learned with the Gordon West CDs but um, they did a good job uh, they did the trick in about a week um, of practicing every night so you know this is a really nice find for the collection 7-3 hope you enjoyed it hope it brought back some memories <laughs>